As summer winds down and the school bells start ringing, it's time for those kids to swap out the pool floats for backpacks and really time to get a refresh on their manners. So here to share some fun and essential back to school etiquette tips is etiquette expert and founder of The Polite Company, Christy Spencer. Hi, Christy, good to see you. Hi there, thanks for having me on. Okay, so let, let's talk about drop-off etiquette for the line. I feel like that's always a big thing at the beginning of the school year, right? It can be really stressful, and unfortunately, that's how we start our day sometimes. So I think it's important to be on time or be early for that drop-off line. No PDA, do your hugs at home. The kid gets out of the car. It's like a pit stop, and then you are in and out while you're following the rules and, and being slow, but really just keep that line moving because everybody is wanting to get to the same place at the same exact time. What about lunchroom etiquette? Well, what's really great is if kids can be self-sufficient. So even practicing opening your Capri Sun pouch or opening up packaging can really help teachers. So they're not, you know, spending their time with each individual child doing that. So really kind of teaching them to be self-sufficient, learn how to go through a line, hold their tray. And that's even something you can practice and have fun with this summer. So we know for the kids, now for the, for the adults, and this happens every year for me. The the teacher, your child's teacher, pops up as a person you may know on Facebook, or it's a suggested account on Instagram. Should you follow them on Instagram? Should you friend them on Facebook? Um, should you, should you send them TikToks? <laughs> No to all of the above. And if you're already friends for some reason with your child's teacher, put it on pause for the year. We don't want to be judged by our parenting fail that we put online or their bad day. So they're going to have some channels that they want to use to communicate with you. And they're going to let you know those channels. And it's not going to be TikTok and it's not going to be Instagram. <laughs> okay, what about this one when it comes to talking to our littles, perhaps somebody who's shy when it comes to meeting new people? Do you have any tips for kiddos here at the start of the school? year again make it a game but practice introducing yourself so introduce yourself to your child in the morning and have them do the same view have them introduce their dog to other people or their friend to other people really we this is where we start to make friends and we start to be friendly and all of those kinds of things so it's really just super important that we know the basics of introducing ourselves and being kind and I think those are great tips for the younger kids, but gosh, some of our older kids are stepping out into college, moving out of the house for the first time. What are some of the things that they should keep in mind when it comes to dorm room etiquette? It's because it's very different than just rooming with a sibling. Very different. And even if you've grown up with that person or you know the person, you've not lived with that person. So I think communicating about what is clean, what are quiet hours, what do all of these kinds of things look like? Um, make a little checklist, a roommate checklist that you go over together. The other thing is it's so easy for us to see rudeness in other people before we see it in ourselves. So when your child is at wit's end with a roommate, ask them to look in the mirror and do a little self-assessment. And maybe they can do something to kind of remedy the situation, but also if it gets too bad, communicate. You know, you're gonna, this person is the person that's gonna be looking out for you the most during the school year. So you wanna develop that bond early on. Yeah, it's just like colleagues, you wanna have a good bond, you wanna have a good relationship, a good rapport and great advice and we can all stand to look at ourselves too gosh thank you so much christy for the time and, and for the advice where can people go to learn more uh, from you and, and learn more about your services the best place is my website which is thepolitecompany.com short simple and polite thepolitecompany.com christy thank you and we will link that on our website cw33.com